Hey guys, this is Joe from Balls Deep Reptiles. And I know it's been a while since I've done any videos. Um, part of the reason is I've been real busy with work and trying to take care of all the snakes and the rats and you know, blah blah blah, same old stuff. Um, another reason is I kind of just haven't really had a whole lot going on. Um, it's been a real slow, slow season. And I actually, another reason was uh, I was using a flip video camera. And I don't know, the thing has been, I've been messing with it for, I don't know, about six months. I've replaced batteries, new batteries, and all that. It just wouldn't hold a charge. I don't know, the videos look kind of crappy, but it worked for what it, you know, what it was worth. Um,. And then the little USB stick that sticks into the laptop, uh, like, can't got busted, so I'd have to hold it while it downloaded videos, and it started to get it be a real pain in the ass. Um, plus, my buddy talked me into an iPad 2. Gotta have the iPad 2, this thing, or iPad, or whatever, this thing is badass, you know, and... So I got used to using it, which it's great for laying in bed and watching YouTube videos uh, instead of having to balance this big-ass laptop uh, on my knee. But when I go to stick my YouTube or my uh, flip video camera USB plug into the side of the iPad, there's nowhere to stick the damn thing. And nothing's compatible, and you know, I just got tired of it, so... Um, we're actually, he's going to trade me for a, I think it's a Motorola, uh, tablet, something like that. So, um, enough rambling, but I just upgraded to a Canon, what is this, XS, SX40 HS PowerShot. Sounds pretty fancy, but it was really reasonably priced on eBay. Um, it's like 380 bucks with a whole bunch of crap. And we'll see. The videos are supposed to be 1080p and supposed to sound good and all that. Um, somebody asked me for a collection update video. Um, I will run through the snakes really quick just because there's so many that now uh, the video would take me a while. But uh, there's still there's a bunch of eggs in the incubator. I got a few clutches that I'm hatching out for a friend of mine who was in a transition of moving and his didn't have an incubator set up. So a couple of those clutches in there are his, a few are mine. Um, the last clutch I got, I did a video on, I, I will probably get it posted, but just a two egg clutch from a normal to the champagne and I think Enchi. Um, but I did get... Let's see, uh, the spider girl, she, I don't know if you can see her back there, um, you know, her eggs hatch, my pin head albino was not the father, so she went back to her original owner with the eggs, uh, I think he got, what were they, um, lemon blasts or something like that out of them out of her but I ended up buying her back he decided to sell his whole collection so uh, here's a update here's a pos het ghost girl or I say normal that didn't really seem to go this year I'm probably gonna let her go um, I think last year she laid some eggs some slugs didn't get any ghosts um, this girl is a nerd line Het Albina, I mean, I'm sorry, Het Ghost, Het Nerd Orange Ghost, um, who didn't go last year. This year, she's bred to the Champagne. She ovulated yesterday. As you can see, maybe she's coming down from ovulation. Uh, so we're hoping that we get some uh, mimosas in there. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to holding this camera and all these little things hanging out. Uh, let's see. I gotta get on a ladder. Even though I'm six foot, I still gotta get on a ladder to get up this cage, or up the top of this cage. Uh, that's the head ghost girl laid seven eggs. Um, gave me the black pastels. Here's her sister that gave me what, two eggs. She's still got a lot of weight to put back on. 
Um, here is my female ghost who is starting, just cleared up from her prelay shed. Uh, I felt seven follicles, hoping they're eggs, not slugs. I've been getting some slugs lately. Bread to the champagne. Uh, here is my pastel female poshet clown who is going in the shed. She didn't go. She's young, but pretty big girl. Um, here is my dinker girl slash spark slash het puma slash super spider man dinker female. Um, het pastel. That's a joke. Um, we're still trying to figure out what's going on with that girl. Let's see. Here's a, a girl, new girl I just picked up off a buddy of mine. She is a granite. Um, and I like granites. Even if they just turn out to be normals, they're still cool looking. She's got a nice stripe, some cool granite patterning. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm... I don't know what... To, oh! <laughs> she, sorry. I got the dog licking my, licking my ear. And apparently she's a little feisty. Or she's hungry, one or the other, but she's a real pretty girl. So she's about a thousand grams. Um, and we will, uh, we'll see if she proves out to be genetic. But yeah, she's a little feisty. And here is uh, just a big normal girl that didn't seem to want to go this year. She's always ready to come out of the tub, though. Anytime I pull this tub open, her face is right there. So I don't think she likes being in a, in a rack or a tub. Um, uh, here's my big 12 egg layer, normal female I got from Colin Weaver. She is bred to the Champagne, and she just finished ovulating. As you can see, oh, she's huffing at me, and she's never done that before. I mean, this girl is just solid, rock solid. Look at that. Love this girl. She's a sweetheart. Um, I'm sure she's just a little uncomfortable because of her, her, all of her eggs. I couldn't palpate her. She's too big, but I'm hoping for 12. So that would be nice. Even though there's a couple guys out there that just don't like champagnes. But that's all right. Everybody has their own opinion. Uh, here's my other granite girl who did not prove to be genetic. Uh, at least she didn't last clutch, so, last year. Um, this is my normal girl that was a rescue that laid two eggs and four slugs. Gave me six eggs last year. Here is the cream of the crop here. Here is my Mojave, who is in her prelay shed. Uh, she's looking good. This camera is definitely doing good for looking at her even though I mean she is in full blue so but she is uh, I think she's got seven eggs in her bred to Enchi and Champagne um, I'm actually hoping for the Enchi the en uh, whatever Enchi Mojave's I think or Mochi's or whatever they call them I think are smoking uh, here's another uh, granite girl interesting looking granite girl who did not go this year. She, two years in a row, she's given me like six or seven huge follicles and then just reabsorbed them. So, I'm, I, I'm gonna prove her out, so I'm gonna keep her around for a while. Here's uh, Meanie, my normal girl, who, uh, there's eggs in the incubator from her to the champagne, only to the champagne, so we should have some of those. Uh, let's see, you get back on the ladder. Here is a head albino girl who doesn't seem to want to be going this year. I think she was building follicles and reabsorbed, so uh, we'll try next year. She's proven though, she's a produced albinos. Uh, another, this is the first head albino that laid a while back. Um, I got a my first ever head albino girl that I picked up. Uh, she did four eggs two years in a row. 
this girl now seems to have six eggs. I put her on newspaper. Um, she seemed to be developing a little bit of an RI. I, I, I'm assuming it's just stress, but it seems that when I put them on back on the paper, that seems to help out a little bit. So get them off out of that humidity. Um, here's a head albino girl that I picked up off a buddy of mine. And she's full of rats. She's been eating like crazy. But she just got back onto the cypress. Even though I know some of you guys don't like cypress either. Um, that's why she had a bad shed. She was, I think, on newspaper before. But it should straighten out. So, actually, we'll just peel it off. Actually, looks good as new. Um, Alright, now, look, we're already 11 minutes. Uh, Het Ghost Girl that is not going to go this year. Last year she slugged out on me. She's a little skinny, so I'm just going to let her go. I'm not haven't even been trying to breed her. Uh, my, one of my big head albino girls thought she was pregnant. She ended up going back on food. Um, so next year we'll wait. I said this year has been a weird year. The weather really just throw them off. So I'm lucky to get the clutches that I am getting. Um, this is the girl that Laid seven eggs, two slugs, uh, cutting those eggs on the 28th, bred to the pin head albino, and she's back on food, pounding rats, should be ready to go again here in a few months. I probably won't even start breeding until January. Uh, here's a new girl I picked up off a buddy of mine, and she is an albino. Uh, she's about 2,000 grams, never been bred before. Um, so I got some plans for her next year. And let's see, uh, another head albino girl, black back, um, genetic, supposed to be genetic black back head albino. She didn't go, she's she's young, but we'll get her next year. Uh, let's see, girl that laid two eggs and a bunch of slugs. She's got an attitude problem.